Hi, I'm Todd Whitelock. Uh, I've been in the business 25 years, mainly based here in New York City. Today, I'm at Germano Studios, and we're going to be mixing uh, the new Broadway cast album for War Paint. Uh, the first album I bought, I probably was eight or nine years old, was Chicago 4. Uh, um, I remember going uh, uh, to a you know, five and dime w with uh, my dad, and, and I saw that on the rack and uh, was taken by the fact that it looked like a, a chocolate bar. That was the cover, you know, with the foil pulled back. In the Tay, I can't say that I had a multi-track, like, music studio experience. Um, uh, somebody who I had met had um, a sister in post and said, I'll introduce you to her because she's into audio. I was maybe in ninth grade at the time, and um, we went to her uh, apartment in Greenwich Village and saw just a you know a room full of reel-to-reels, uh, you know, a studer like B67, you know, tape blocks, editing, and, uh, and her um, mainstay was, you know, like a documentary film and audio post and uh, you know that was you know the days before uh, workstations and computers so everything had to be you know spun and copied and edited from from analog tape so I think that was my first day you know around tape uh, it was probably like I said maybe a freshman in high school I've been a sound engineer for 25 years I started at a power station before that I went to school at Berkeley College of Music I majored in music production and engineering there and uh, wanted to get into an internship opportunity which Berkeley had suggested um, everybody headed off for spring break uh, you know ready to be interviewed at all the places they'd uh, you know sent their resumes to uh, I just cold called I, I got to town um, and uh, it was the only studio that I had called from a payphone. That's how long ago it was. And, uh, uh, you know, the management asked if I had had an interview scheduled. I told them, no, I just really want to set up a, you know, an opportunity for an internship. And I think it was, um, you know, a little bit of that bravado that they said, well, I, then we got to meet you, you know, we got to, you know, talk. So, um, that got me in the door. I interned, um, you know, for you know the requisite three months and you know work my way into an entry-level job there and that was uh, 1989. The catalyst came um, you know a few years later at Sony because after Power Station closed I uh, got uh, hired at Sony Classical actually and I met uh, Stephen Epstein who's a producer I'm actually working with today so you know do the math um, I've you know made relationships that are still you know, active relationships in this industry. And, um, you know, that has been a huge, you know, factor, you know, it's the people you meet. Um, so I would say because of that, the catalyst was maybe the first record, uh, was a Wynton Marsalis record that Steve gave me, um, to do with him fully confident that I was able to, you know, do it, which was probably the pat on the back, you know, to sort of tell me that I was ready to go. And, and that was 25 years ago. So I think, um, yeah, I think that, you know, first successful, you know, one, you know, when you look back at it, uh, you know, all the, um, you know, the components and the parts, you know, once it's finally out and you, you know, were, you know, sort of responsible for every facet of it, um, you know, definitely galvanized that like, yeah, I can do this. And, you know, now how can I do it better? And, and I think that is where, I'm still at 25 years later that it's a matter of, you know, being able to, uh, you know, analyze it and, and uh, you know, make corrections and, and make the next one better. So, you know, part of, you know, the joy is still there. You know, I can't say the business is always joyful, but, uh, you know, the craft is, you know, being able to keep practicing uh, your craft, I would say that is, you know, still very satisfying. <laughs>